Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to our off-grid cabin build video series here on our homestead in North Idaho. Today, we're going to be installing our new solar panels. These right here are currently the four panels that we are using. These are four 275 watt panels. These are the new ones that we're gonna be installing here. These are four 345 watt panels. Let's cruise inside real quick. I'll show you the mounting hardware, charge controller, things like that that we're gonna be using to install those panels and also our plan on how we're gonna do it. This right here is the front of our house. This is a window and a window and a window up there. Just like that right there. What we're gonna to try to do is these are the new solar panels right here. We're gonna install those right here. However, we're gonna turn them horizontal instead of vertical. And then, um, so I'll have two here, and then two horizontal over here. And then those other panels, we're gonna put straight up here to that window and then one above it. So this right here is the mounting hardware that we're gonna be using. And I'll put links to all of the stuff that we're using today <coughs> down in the description, or uh, yeah, down in the description. So anyway, these are just aluminum brackets that go on the panels and then you can screw them to the wall. So four brackets for each panel. And it comes with this hardware, some bolts, lock washers and nuts, and then screws, self-tapping screws with a rubber washer or a plastic washer here to go into the wall or your RV or whatever it is you're gonna mount this to. <clears throat> How long has it been? We miss you. What in the world? They miss you. Why do they miss us? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Anyway, we don't need that thing. We got enough to do four panels because I wasn't sure what we were gonna do with the other four. And so if these work out good today, we'll get four more of them and uh, do the other panels and put those up. We're only doing the new panels today. We're gonna run these panels in a series parallel combination. So two panels are gonna be running series, which is gonna get their voltage up to uh, the high 60s. And then those two panels will act as one panel. The other two panels will act as one panel because they're running series. Then we'll run them in parallel using these Y connectors right here. We've also got a Renergy 60 amp charge controller, which can do anywhere from 12 to 48 volt battery bank system. We're running a 24 volt battery bank system, but in the future, we're thinking we might go up to 48 volts. So we'll be able to continue to use that 60 amp charger, which is really what we need to run those four panels because they're so large. And 100 feet of, uh, 10 gauge wire to go from the panels to the charge controller. All right, so we got our brackets here and our uh, nuts and bolts. It's about 30 degrees out today. So we wanna put them on here like this. Nope, like this, right like that. So it'll hold it up off of the wall a little bit, about an inch and uh, yeah, do like that. That's what we're gonna try to do without dropping nuts and bolts in the snow, which would probably make them very hard to find. That's cool, it has the little spots for it on the, so you don't yeah. have to drill a hole or anything. Yep. That's nice. Definitely. All right, then we'll come back and tighten them up later. But this is basically, this is how they go on there. Tighten that up. And when we get them up there to the wall, we'll screw through these holes right here. Cool. So Jules and I are gonna go ahead and get all these put on and then we'll start putting them up on the wall. Jules, what you working on? I am gonna dig these wires out from the snow. <laughs> They're in there pretty good. Yeah, so I think they're all the way on the ground, so. Yeah, so we got these wires right here go into the charge controller, the old one. And so we're gonna dig them out or pull them out so that we, cause we need to extend them a little bit. I'm looking for wrenches so we can tighten up those brackets. It's 10 millimeter. These guys are 10 millimeter. So I need to find two 10 millimeter wrenches, which sometimes is not that easy to do in here.
Joe's got the cable up and out, and uh, we're ready to. Look at my gloves. Wow, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. I think these are just balls of ice. Yeah. But huh. they're really falling apart, but they still work good. Yeah. Like this is all coming and done, and then all the plastic is showing now. That's weird, huh? Even though they look like this. They still keep my hands pretty warm and yeah. dry. Check it out. We've got all four solar panels up there. We are getting a little shading on that corner and that corner right there. I was kind of expecting that because it's so close to the eave. Now, mounting them flat on here is not ideal, right? It's, it's okay, but it's not ideal. For the winter time, it's okay. But summertime, it's not gonna be that great. They're gonna get a lot more shading on there. Obviously, we're gonna have to take the panels down to put siding on there. And so we'll see in the spring or summer what we actually want to do and how we want to permanently mount these. Maybe a ground mount system. Who knows? Maybe we'll build a garage and put them on the roof of the garage. We just don't know. But for right now, let's cruise on in, jump on the app, and see how much power we're producing right now. So we're generating 60 volts, 14.3 amps, and 858 watts. That is awesome. I can't wait to see how much we'll produce when we get all the panels hooked up. Let's go ahead and make up a new 50 foot cable to connect our old panels over to the solar shed and be able to hook up the new charge controller here. Hey buddy, what's up? What's up guy? What do you want? So what we've got here is a hundred feet of cable. This is um, 10 gauge. Cable. We gotta find both ends here. Okay. This guy's right here. Best tool on the homestead. Oh man, I'm kind of afraid this is gonna make one big mess as soon as I get it undone. But I guess we'll see. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Ooh. All right, so we've got one end here. I need to put a connector on. And our other end, where'd it go? Right here. So we got this kit and we got some extra MC4 connectors here. And the wrenches for them. All right, so we have our MC4 connector here. This is one pair of them. Just take them apart like that, and then these caps come off the end. There's a little blue kind of gasket in here. Grommet, I guess. Get that out. This one comes off also. Oh, that one came out with it. There we go. Perfect. Then we've got our connectors here. Oh, you have a large one and a small one, and they fit together. So the large one goes in this one, goes in there. And the small one goes in this one. So what we need to do is we need to attach these to this wire. And that's where this cool little kit comes in. It's got um, a bunch of MC4 connectors in here that we could have used, but we're using the other ones. And then you've also got this uh, crimping tool, which works really good. Ah. 
All right? So we're gonna put one on here, like that. And we're gonna crimp it in with this tool. I'll go with the medium one, because this is a medium size here. And it goes in just like this. And so it goes like, it goes in like that. Put a wire in. Oh, so it kind of locks when it gets to the end. And then you can check out the uh, connection there, right? It's super tight on there. Now for this one then, all right, we uh, want to put this guy on first. Put a rubber grommet in there. Then this guy goes on. You want to push it in until you hear it click. Clicked. All right, it's in there. Then we can put this guy up and start twisting it on there. And you'll hear it kind of ratcheting. Well, those things are going to, when we use the wrenches here, I'll show you. Take our wrenches. And uh, one goes on here, like that. The other one goes on here like this. And then you can tighten it down. And you can't really over tighten it because this is going to slip once it gets to the right tension. So you got it, All right? Perfect amount. You probably want to use a proper wire stripper here. You can't be careful. Ah. And something other than your teeth. Here we go. Bam. Put a cable in. Ah, here we go. Bam. It's on there. Ah. Super snug. All right, so then we just put our cap on, a rubber grommet. This guy on, and we want to push it till it clicks. There we go. See, it's like locked in there now. You can't get it back off. And then a rubber grommet goes inside of there. Tighten her down. Use our wrench. Hear that? It's tight. That's it. All we need to do now is pull it out and cut it in half. Then we can wire up our other panels. Unfortunately, guys, that is where we're going to have to leave it at today. In our next video, we will go ahead and install our new charge controller and get all of the panels all hooked up and see how much power we can generate. If I've already posted that video, it is going to be right over here. I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second. <music>